didn't call that, man. Did, did you? you? No, no. Of course, of course <laughs> I didn't call that. Oliver Purnell doing a great job. Started out at Old Dominion and went on a date and had a lot of success. And, and he, he's got them rolling now, even though they were challenged today in their game. They're still Georgia going Tech. on. Yeah, they're, they're, they're being challenged. 70. Clemson leads by one over Georgia Tech. Challenge as we speak. And now, Jay John comes out out of the timeout in a 2-3 zone, which you see a lot of coaches do. You know, Tim Floyd kind of drew up some stuff against a man-to-man -man defense. Nick Young hits the wide open three as Oregon is back in that softer zone, giving them that good outside look, and it's a 12-6 USC lead. And that shot's going to be there. Whenever Sasha Church is playing on the wing, which he will be in the 2-3 zone, there's a poor job of contesting the long jump shot in the corner or wing. So that shot's going to be there for Nick Young. They threw it all night long. Logic Stewart. There's Jack McGillis has it knocked. Three with the left hand drive. And again, the Trojans defense has been outstanding. Routine of 15 have been held to 40% or lower shoot against USC's defense. So this is one of the reasons why that counts as a shot attempt that blocked by Taj Gibson had seven the other night Thursday night against Oregon. And good idea by McGillis, but uh, uh, Taj Gibson is just a nice trap in the corner by, by USC until they let Jeffers split it. Washington almost got it to drop. He's knocked down, and the Trojans come away with it. Fort in the middle of the floor. There's Carver on Stewart. And they back into their man to man defense. Good job shot by Nick Young and up against Jay Young, excuse me, Jay John, to get out of the zone, get back into the straight man to man. One thing you wonder about, how will USC be with this kind of, uh, a well, less than the emotion that they saw at Matt Court, because a lot of the players were talking after the game in Eugene, they could not believe the intensity, the excitement of Matt Court. You know, that's the biggest challenge, and one of the bigger challenges for the coaching staff, Tim Floyd, gets his team fired up for playing this game. And for it with the steal, well, you'll win if you can defend like they're winning. Yeah, and they're doing a great job. Uh, playing passing lanes, and a bad pass on the part of Oregon State, but... And you better be certain and take care and value each and every possession with the basketball if you're already safe because that's see they're long, they're active in passing lanes, they play great containment, great position. Wesley Washington will give him the outside shot and take away his drive. Jeffers, nice move, can't finish though, and Young pulls the rebound down. Yeah, a nice move, but there's, you know, three maroon shirts. Surrounding Kyle Jeffers on that move, that's, what, that's the kind of defense that USC has done. The, the, the players have bought into the half-court weak side help concepts of Tim Floyd a lot better than they did last year, and that's why USC is one of the tougher, tougher defensive teams to score against this season. Here's Roderick Stewart, 4-3, and they are picking it up, and they lead Oregon State by 11 points. Yeah, great execution on that inbounds play, but once again, you involve Sasha Church, 6 10 50 has a tough time negotiating screens. And we understand Clemson just won in a last-second shot, so they're 16-0, the only unbeaten team in college basketball. And in the LA falling today, and Eugene. We have a blocking foul, a uh, cool pick that was set by USC, so LSU will have it. When we come back with the guest Trojans leading by eight. Seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Hi, even with help from Betty. Thank you, Jeff and Nate. We appreciate it. We're gonna give you we get good for an order of Ruby Mini. USC's defense remains strong. They have limited Oregon State to just three of ten shooting from the floor. Meantime, the Trojans shooting six of ten, and they've hit a couple of threes already, one by Nick Young and one by Lodwick Stewart. Here is the only unbeat team left in college basketball. Clemson wins on a last-second shot to beat Georgia Tech. And the Tigers have been down by as many as nine in that second half. Today we come to you from Gill Coliseum in Corvallis, Oregon, Steve Fiziak and Marcus Johnson. And USC with the lead, Josh Carver in the game with Michael Johnson, Marcel Jones misses his first three, picked up by Sakarakis. He's in there for his and three. And I think we've been waiting for him. I mean, we saw him a couple of years ago, so he got a lot of injuries last year, but man, he just lit up that outside shooting. And when you've got the struggles that Oregon State has had scoring points from the perimeter from their guards. I just don't see why Saka Rockets didn't get more time. Gibson got a low Gibson. post, and when you are able to root down low that deep, he's like impossible to stop. And you got to have some good ball pressure to prevent that pass from getting down low. But again, you mentioned it, you just cannot allow a guy like a Todd Gibson. But give him credit, he worked extremely hard to establish that position down low. That's why I likened him to Bernard King in our, in our open. Just worked so hard to get the good position. That's 90% of it when you get the pass and you use the split side of the footwork to finish off the job. And Gibson drops it in. He's been one of the top freshmen in the conference. And this is a Pac-10 conference loaded with fabulous freshmen. Spencer Hawes at Washington. Chase Budinger at Arizona. Arizona's got a big game tonight at Washington State. That will not be easy. Never is. You're going to have to pull him and playing against a tough defense of the Cougars. But here's Marcel now. You know, as long as he's hitting, it's okay. But now he's starting to settle. That's one of the things that we talked about before the game. Marcel and I said that what Coach John wants him to do is not to just start getting happy in love with that long three-point bomb. Daniel Hackett in the game now as the point guard. He's number 11. Gibson with the pick and roll. Well defended by Kyle Jeffers. Well, we may have had a bump against Oregon State on Hackett's drive to the hoop. There is Michael Johnson, whose father, Steve, is one of the greatest Oregon State Beavers of all time, led them to the number one spot in the country years ago.